the storms will come. There are times when the nights will be long and dark and you will be alone. There will be times when the darkness seems to consume everything. But don't let it consume you. Sometimes you're barely making any progress. Sometimes you're barely making any progress at all. And that tough situation is making you want to stop. And what you eventually learn is you can't stop. When you're going through tough situations, you got to take that next step. You got to keep moving forward. And I know we're going through a pretty tough situation right now in a lot of different ways. Take that next step. Keep moving forward. And the only way to overcome the challenges that you face is to start walking. Every day, get up, take that step, and start walking. Even in the darkest times, even in the strongest storms, even when the sun is blotted out and the world is falling apart, the darkness cannot extinguish your light. You. Your will. Your determination. No matter what is happening, no matter how hard the fight is, as long as you keep fighting, you win. Only surrender is defeat. Only quitting is the end. Because the darkness only wins if you let it. Do not let the darkness win. Fight. Fight on. To fight against the darkness is to win. So fight on. Life is full of pain. It's everywhere. The pain of defeat, the pain of being disappointed, the pain of losing, the pain of failure, the pain of being criticized, the pain of not being liked, the pain, the pain, the pain, that's called life. But guess what? There's no gain without pain. There's gonna be things that go on that are out of your control. The worst thing you can do is let something that's out of your control control you. Get control of yourself, get control of your emotions. Don't get angry, don't get frustrated. Instead, stay calm and figure out how to move forward. You are closer than what you think. You close and the devil done told you, just get a divorce, you close, hold on. You close, you about to drop out, you gone too far now. You ain't got but two credit, hold on. You with three kids in, you can't quit now, hold on. But this is my sixth time taking it, you gonna pass on the seventh, hold on. But you better get something from all that hell you've been through. I'm talking to somebody. You ought to get excited. You are 100 yards away. You are 100 yards away. You can see it in the distance. You can see it in the distance. You close, boo, don't give up now. You close, my brother, hold on. I don't need you thinking about it no more. You're doing too much thinking. You're analyzing too much. You talking yourself out of it. I just, oh, yeah, I don't know if this gonna work. I tried and it didn't work. I just need you to keep moving. I need you to make up in your mind that the only way you can lose is if you quit. And I just need you to keep going. Don't allow that inner doubt in you to tell you why you're not good enough. You ignore that inner voice and all of the external voices. Don't judge the possibilities for what you can do based upon the circumstances because the circumstances won't determine who you are. Doesn't matter how many mistakes you've made. Doesn't matter how much money you've lost. In fact, I see it only as an investment of what you learn from life. You don't stop when you're tired. You stop when you're done. You stop when you complete it, when you execute it. This is where you start separating the successful from the unsuccessful. Just because it says trial on the package, or tribulation on the package, or pain on the package, it don't mean it ain't a blessing inside, and most of you turn around when you see pain. But those of us who had the right perspective, we approach it when it say pain. When we see trial, tribulation, we don't give up or give in. We know the blessing is on the inside. 
We don't give up. We don't surrender. We don't quit. We see differently. Our perspective is different. And because our perspective is different, our outcomes are different. Our rewards are different.